Hey guys, welcome back. I am super excited to be kicking off a new series here on my channel. We are going to be doing organization slash decluttering videos. The biggest problem that we have with this closet is that it is the only one that we have in our house that we can store everything in. So we have our towels in here. We have a lot of our backup supplies. We're Costco shoppers, so we like to buy in bulk and we need a place to store all those things. So this is what my closet used to look like and it is really bad, you guys. Um, I basically had to go through first and declutter. So get rid of anything that we definitely were not gonna use. So a lot of the things that we ended up donating were things that I had bought in bulk back when I used a coupon. I wiped everything down, I cleaned off the floors. So the next thing I did is assess the closet. A very common mistake that people make whenever they're decluttering and organizing a new space is going out and buying a bunch of like organization items and you end up not necessarily using all of them or you just end up creating more clutter. So a better way to do this is to look at the space, look at the items that you need to organize, and then make note of how many compartments you need. So first I measured all the shelves just to make sure that my containers were actually gonna fit on my shelf. Then I took a picture of my closet and I took that with me whenever I went shopping for the bins that I needed. I kept referring back to my picture every time I saw a bin that I thought I needed. I really believe that it looks less cluttered if you have things in the same family of colors. So I picked whites and creams. That was like my color palette. So before I start putting everything in the containers, I like to take all the containers and put them inside of the closet and kind of form like the skeleton of the closet. Before I actually start organizing everything, this gives me a way better idea of how everything's gonna turn out in the end. Another thing that helps make everything look super organized is the way that you fold things. So I have a very specific way that I like folding towels. I just fold it in half and then I fold it in half again and then I fold each edge into each other the way that I'm showing you guys here. And I try to fold them all the same direction so that when you stack them they look super even and all you can see is like the smooth edge and it looks very professional, <laughs> kind of like a department store. I also folded all of the hand towels. I rolled them up in a similar way that I did the smaller towels and some of them I put them inside of a basket. I'm really, really bad at folding sheets. <laughs> I just decided that I would store all my sheets in one of these really pretty baskets. So if they're not like perfectly folded, it doesn't matter because they're all in that basket. I also found this really cool container from Home Goods. It has like a glass top and I thought this would be perfect to replace this really dingy drawer that I had in there that I, ha I had so many random things in there. But basically I would keep band-aids, uh, new spore and chapstick and things like that. And this box is all see-through so you can definitely see everything that's in there and I love it. Uh, the only thing is it had this little piece of wood in the middle and it wasn't letting me put larger items. So I took some pliers and I popped that wood out and now I can fit larger items. So I love this little organization thing. I also keep things like light bulbs and batteries in these plastic bins. You can snap them shut and it's just a way better way to remember where everything is. And then I store all of that inside of a larger basket that has all of the things that I don't really grab that often, but I do need. So this is the same place that I store my vacuum cleaner bags. So remember that little wire shelf that I told you guys that I had in the kitchen? Well, I ended up using this to maximize the space in one of the shelves. So on the very bottom, I put folded hand towels. And these are ones that get replaced very frequently. So I definitely want these in a place where I can just grab them and go and I don't have to be digging through a basket. And then on top of that is where I put the little organizer that has like the newest porn and the band-aids and things like that. I also put all my cleaning supplies in one basket and that way when I need it, I can just pull it out and take it from room to room. Another way that I maximize space was uh, stacking things on top of each other. So I have this acrylic door. I think this is from the container store. This is perfect to go underneath a box that opens up because you're able to open both at the same time without having to remove one from the other. In this white lacquer box, I just keep candles. I go through tea light candles very frequently. So I have them all there. I love making things look pretty, you guys. So I ended up putting a picture that I just had laying around. I put it at the very top of the linen closet and then I just added these really pretty flowers that I found at Home Goods. I just think it gives it kind of like a spa feel in the linen closet and it makes me so, so happy. So since this closet is also for all of our backup stuff that we buy from Costco, um, I knew I needed some little really large bins to hide things like vinegar, 
dishwashing soap um, detergent and I didn't want them just all out so I got these really large baskets from home goods and that's what we're gonna keep all of our backup stuff okay so now this really cool part so this is actually inspired by one of my friends she's really into like crafting and gift wrapping and things like that and she told me about this thing called the alpha system it's so easy to hook onto your door you don't need to drill anything in and then each of these baskets are sold individually so you can buy whatever baskets you need so it is a hundred percent customizable to your needs I knew for sure I wanted it for gift wrapping and packing supplies and then I just bought a few extra baskets at the very top I keep some backup tissues backup lotions and things like that greeting cards also ribbon my scissors all the things that I need for gift wrapping and this gift wrapping part is so cool you buy the basket and then you buy this little attachment that prevents the gift wrap from tipping over and it's amazing you guys I can't now every time I see pretty gift wrap on sale I'm gonna be like well I have a place to store it <laughs> I really love this and I think it's a great solution if you're looking for something like what I'm using it for. I absolutely love the way it turned out and I think we could actually maximize the space even more by adding some shelves on the side of the linen closet. But for now, I'm very, very happy with the way the space turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tips and I hope this motivates you and inspires you to clean out your linen closet. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.